मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों आप सबको नमस्कार फिर एक बार मन की बात से आप सबके साथ जुड़ने का सौभाग्य मुझे मिला है स्वयं जैविक खेती करते हैं ये तरह ही आप किसानों की समस्या को भली भाग और आपकी चिंता सही लेकिन ये सब आप हरियाणा में ही होता है ऐसा My name is Sanat Kumar. I hail from Krishnagiri. I was born in 1952. My academic qualification is almost none. I never stepped into any school or college. Today I run three higher secondary schools in Krishnagiri district with more than 3500 students how did it happen let me take you to the day I was born Our was a family of 60 people very lively energetic uncles and aunts my grandfather was a village musif and agriculture was our main source of income my family strongly believed in superstitions and one such was about a bad woman for a child to be born on a new moon day it so happened that i was born exactly on one such day from the minute i was born my mother constantly feared the bad woman coming true when i was about 2 years old i developed severe fever the available medical care was ineffective my mom was quite upset and i was rushed to a reputed hospital in bangalore my mom relaxed only after being reassured i was absolutely fine and was to be discharged the next day next day when she entered my room she was alarmed to find a bunch of people treating me she asked has he become unwell again that's why you are giving him electric shock please tell me the truth as fate would have it she realized later i was given shock treatment meant for another patient because of that my condition worsened acutely after a few days i was diagnosed with polio with my left leg permanently disabled According to my mother the bad woman had struck making me its victim I was carried home soon and I saw my family's morale being put to test due to my condition they were quite shaken my mother carried me from one doctor to another from one city to another from one treatment to another from one temple to another with fading hope in the yesu endra in the irai maganai pinpatrugaru vendal avuri tat purushaya vitmahe vakra tundaya dheemahe tanno dante astrologers priests and saints were consulted every other day and nothing came out of it even though i was in the age when children crawled my mother was very saddened to see me crawling with a disabled leg my treatments and diets continued for years 
when all the cousins at home had a regular life attending school every day i was taken every day to a hospital for treatment their stories about their experiences in school fascinated me i missed and craved for wearing uniform carrying bag full of books and feeling joy for a precision of good work whenever i insisted about my schooling my mother convinced me that i was not destined for it i did not succumb to that i started to imagine my own school my own classroom and my own classmates as it was unthinkable for me to attend school i further developed my skills by reading my cousins books in their absence and conduct tests for myself a big thanks to cricket commentary and daily newspapers as i grew up fast i did not like people carrying me to places i did not like to use crutches either so i went for calipers a shoe with steel rods running on the sides of the leg till the hip it was very heavy for my lean build but i never bothered about it i started walking independently i always dreamt big and wanted to achieve big i decided to write a letter to the then american president gerard ford briefing about myself and requesting him for a job in usa my mother was shocked to learn about my plans she said don't you think it is too much to expect even a reply from the president of america like others you are not a normal child to dream this big to my mother's surprise one fine day i got an encouraging reply from the president of america and it was followed by another letter about a 7 years job assignment for me in us to my horror my parents flatly refused to even let me leave krishnagiri now my focus was readjusted and i was asking the question what best one can do in krishnagiri in a different mindset i was told that the government had several schemes to help people with a disability like providing financial educational and employment support So my friend and I left for the office located in Gindi Chennai from Krishnagiri We reached the office at 5:30 a.m. and waited outside the building When it opened at 9:30 we learned that the rehabilitation center for the physically handicapped was on the 6th floor climbing up 120 steps was not possible for me as i had come with a lot of hope i started climbing at 10 am I slowly climbed step by step floor by floor and by the time I reached the 6th floor it was 1:45 pm when i just arrived at the office mr mehrotra the is officer came out of his room as he was leaving for lunch when i stopped him he gave me a perplexed look as i was completely wet with sweat and struggling to catch my breath i told him about myself 
and why I had come all the way from Krishnagiri. I passed on a letter that contained details about my request. The officer, in turn, passed it on to his assistant and left. Application path te, wangi vichite. Sir, sir, niga pola na re. Po yenna na vasadhir ke facilities erke. Handicapped people ka ge. Apni solite konge details kudukamudi man kete. Ila sir, adalam mudiya the niga. Na kete kengla the pakla. Apna idha niga idha lau the niga scheme le fitta niga na ugla kangla inform pannu. Niga kalam bolam. Or vya rent money ke angge andu kila yaranga arbiche. ஆறே காலுக்கு சாயந்தரம் வந்து கீழே இறங்கி வந்துட்டேன் ஒன் டே ஏ பேக்கேஜ் அரைவ்டு ஹோம் ப்ராட் பை மை டேட் ஃபார் மீ ஐ ஓப்பன் இட் வித் எக்ஸைட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் ஃபெல் இன் லவ் வித் இட் இன்ஸ்டன்ட்லி I started to teach myself. I passed the lower typewriting examination in just three months. With some financial help from my father, I started a typewriting institute in the front room of my house. Conchana. Meanwhile, I married a girl from my own town. She got on board to share and support me through my challenging journey. My typewriting institute was doing very well with about 3,000 students over 17 years. But I wanted to move on from it. I applied for an Indian oil dealership and appeared for an interview. After the sanction, I started a petrol bunk on the national highway. Since I was craving for creativity in my work, I started looking for new possibilities. We always have colorful imagination about things we don't have. One such thing was a school for me. How many schools do you think that teaches agriculture as their subject? Is there any school that inspires you to read the sky? Is there any school that insists you to plant saplings? A school is the place which shapes a child into a complete human being. A school should touch, move and inspire a child. I will start a school to give the children the best. One cloudy day, I was on my way to meet a couple of people to rent a small place for my dream school. Just as I boarded the bus, it started raining and by the time i got off the bus it was pouring cats and dogs there was only a palm tree that could give me little protection from the heavy rain i waited hoping for the rains to slow down i got drenched to my skin i looked around for at least a hut for cover but it was an isolated location i started praying for the rain to stop so that i can find help the wait seemed never ending and i was quite tired and started wondering 
how untiring nature was along with my affected leg my unaffected leg was also giving me more pain it was a himalayan task for me even to stand in the strong winds with my calipers some superstitions heard from my mother reverberated in my mind when one faces obstacles right at the beginning of your new work it is sure to fail i gave a deaf ear to it with the fortitude this made my drive towards my goal much stronger i was determined to fetch the very place for my dream school after four long hours the rain stopped i saw the place i liked it later i started my dream school at the same place i started a primary school in that rented house with 46 students and two teachers 